let's talk about the 100 day challenge. What you, this is not the first time you guys have done the challenge. You've done it a few other times, but this is the first time that it had like the group and the Facebook group and the check-ins and all the other things. So why don't you talk about a little bit about starting the 100 day challenge the very first time, like the reason why you chose to do it. How about it, Annie? Um, sure. Uh, I had, I had, I mean, long, long story long. I had been in um, Denver for New Year's and went to see one of my favorite uh, yoga instructors who just moved there. And so I found her at her the studio at Core Power that she was teaching at. She was wrapping up a uh, hundred days, like New Year's was going to be her hundredth day. And I was like, holy shit, I am in. I want to do that. Like a hundred days of yoga sounds fucking great. So then starting like day one, I think New Year's Day, um, or maybe probably the second, no, I, mean, um, I started <laughs> 100 days of, like, of yoga. Yeah, it was probably like maybe New Year's third. Day was a rest yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, maybe like, maybe even like the third. Um, I started 100 days of yoga and it was, it was great. It, I had not created the like thank you yoga Instagram page I was very comfortable having my private my life private and um, I started to realize as I was going through it that being vocal about the things that I was going through was um, therapeutic for my for myself so selfishly like being able to just put it out there and hoping that like nobody would read it but I could just be vulnerable and put it out there was helpful to me and just sorting out things that I was going through in my life. Um, and when I completed the 100 days, I felt this was my, my biggest failure the whole time. And I was like, I want to do it again. And she, I want to do it with me. And she was like, I love the idea. I don't want to do 100 days of yoga. And so we kind of toyed around with the idea of like 100 days of movement, 100 days of fitness. Like, what do we want to call this? And then she said 100 days for positive change, which just could be anything. I mean, it's very loose, like just what's going to make a positive change in your life. And so for me, that's always been through movement, through exercise, like taking the time to recognize when I needed to rest was important, but also like the days that I don't move my body, I just start to go to like really awful places in my mind. So um, it has always been for me about movement, but I, I know for Melt and for, you know, other people, the, 30 minutes are different um you know whatever they want to do so that's kind of where it started and then she jumped on board for the second one we asked a couple friends um within like our like Humphrey's family if you wanted to join in and, and they all did and pretty much everyone finished strong to the end and that was like a hundred like that hundredth day was a, an, an incredible celebration of getting to like there's something I, you know there's something about like saying you're going to do something and then like I'm such an Aries I say I'm going to do things and I don't do them um that's been my whole life so the fact that I could like stay out and do 100 days and do it was just I mean as simple as it was just walking like just completing that 100 days has been um like I set myself on the back for being able to do that and the fact that we're able to get other people on board to do it and want to commit to like creating positive change in their life has been I mean it's brought both of us to tears a lot so yeah most probably has a different take on it but <laughs> no I Annie you know I was inspired by Annie and her ability to do anything for 100 days because I'm I'm a Sagittarius and like Aries i can't that if that was like I've never done anything for 100 days straight that I said I was going to do so to be able to have and to know that I was like promising her and I was going to do this and I like miraculously somehow did it and I it, it and it was life-changing um I when she asked me to I was struggling with postpartum depression and I just knew like I had to movement is so key to um to, to swaying my anxiety and to helping my brain go crazy too. And I, um, and maybe crazy, not, but just to go in bad places as well. So I knew I had to make a change and um, I had to do it for myself because I knew that my 
that I was in a bad place. Um, and, and, and it, and we did, and it was, uh, it was transformative. I had no idea that like moving for a hundred days in a row would change my mental take, not to mention like give me confidence because I have finally completed like full blown completed and worked at it. And after I said I would, so it gave me the confidence to, you know, I, look, I can do this. I can do hard things. I can do the next thing. And often like if I was, did move that day, I would end up doing more things. So it's just been created an incredible domino effect in life. Um, to just a reminder of like what we are capable of as humans. And I, um, that I'm forever grateful. Now I'm addicted to it. And I just want to keep doing it every all the time because it's so it truly is so therapeutic for me mm -hmm. I feel the same yeah. way yeah I it think, was I think as like women we it's not it's like you can wake up every day and think like I want to feel good about myself today I'm an exercise and maybe you do maybe you don't but like just having that idea like I want to feel good about yourself I think it starts there and then just like thinking that right is that going to do anything no you actually have to move your body you have to like put in the effort to to create changes in your physical body so that you can feel stronger mentally and 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 happier with yourself i i would i would argue that anybody that doesn't move ever actually feels good about you know about themselves and like maybe that's just me being a shitty person saying a shitty thing but like I just think that movement makes you feel, it gets your endorphins going, it makes you feel better about yourself, even if it's just a walk. So it's always going to be important to me to get people feeling good about the body that they live in. So, um, absolutely. Is, yeah, 100 days is, it's a lot, no doubt about it, but it's definitely a like that 100th day, you're like, awesome. But can there be like, 110 days 120 yeah. like does it have to stop there like no it doesn't it's supposed to create change it's supposed to create a positive change in your life you want to keep moving you want to keep doing things so. mm -hmm. totally and it might not even be like you're not you know it's not like every single day you like notice this huge shift but as you're doing these hundred days you know hard things obviously pop up in your life all the time and life is hard it's just not that easy so the movement through these hundred days has helped so much even just push through each one of those things that are unrelated to the movement like all right i'm moving and then i'm going to get to like through this next step like i'm going to make it through whatever that hurdle is for the day but i've just empowered myself by moving and i feel empowered and proud of myself and now i'm going to go conquer the next thing and that's been like that alone is you know it's it's trickled it's the trickle down effect it has caused so many more uh, i mean so many other things to be more positive in my life because I chose to take care of myself for that 30, 30 minutes or however long. Um, so yeah, it's just it's a, it's a yeah. game of And it's not, it's not about like losing weight or, you know, no. I, I, when I started it, I probably had somewhere in my brain like, oh yeah, like by a hundredth day, I want to like look a certain way. But that was quickly thrown out the window. I was happier, just feeling stronger. My body didn't change that much, but just like the mental strength to keep committing to something every single day. Um, that was, that made, made all the difference to me in the world. It didn't matter to me that like the numbers on the scale changed or didn't change. It was just about being able to like do something. And there are a lot of days I'm like, oh man, I don't have the energy for an hour long class. Well, that's the beauty of it being 30 minutes, like a 30 minute walk with just like by myself or with Brendan or with my kids is like, that's great. Just unplugging, having that time for yourself where you're just focused on what you're doing. For 30 minutes. Like all people need. Mm -hmm. One thousand percent. Yeah. I think I, like, I definitely was excited. It was, well, it was more mental, but you know, the body stuff does come into play, but now it's, it is, truly just the mental game and then oddly enough now that i don't i'm not focusing on my body anymore i am the strongest my body is the strongest it's ever been and probably has the least amount of body fat it's ever had because i'm no longer obsessing about what my body is looking looks like and i'm no longer telling myself I, i'm ashamed of my body 
Um, I'm working to make it to, to, I'm working on my mental health and it's completely changed my relationship with how I look at my body because I used to like cringe at myself. And now it's, I, you know, I have so much more self-confidence that I've, you know, it's taken me a while to get there. And that, that's, um, that's, that's priceless because, you know, being in a place where you don't love yourself or love the way you look is, um, is ridiculous, but also, you know, it's, you can't change it. You can't help that. You're, brain thinks that way um the things that we say to ourselves when we look in the mirror like we would never dream of saying to people that we love and like Mm -hmm. we have to love ourselves first right like we would never dream of like having the thoughts that we have about our body as women like about anybody our best friends our our family our loved Mm -hmm. ones like you you wouldn't dream of having those it's like such a shame that we particularly women have do that to ourselves and it's I think it's just just creating a little bit of change and however you want to do that um, ideally through movement or whatever it looks like for each individual I think um, that it has to start with that like that desire for self-love and that desire for like confidence and um, and then it just kind of snowballs into like yeah like what what am I going to do today what's my 30 minutes going to look like like how totally. great am I going to feel when it's over? Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So talk about like deciding to do the 100 day challenge with Live Lesson Masters, but now they've rebranded and everything. So how did it come up for you guys to do it through the platform and have the check-ins and why'd you decide to do it like that this time? Um, Keeps has always been a supporter of 100 Days. She's done a couple of the challenges, maybe all of the challenges with us. And so our friend, Carrie Barber, um, she works with Live Lesson Masters. Less so lively. And um, so the fact that Melt and I had taken classes onto their platform and we're doing it through Zoom, we just all were talking one day and we're like, how about we start another 100 Days and how about we now we have this like zoom platform and you can get the word out there that you know seconds we can have seconds like we might as well that's the way people are communicating and connecting these days anyways so or not so much communicating, but connecting you know with people that you haven't seen in a while so um she was fully supportive of putting it on um on my lesson masters and just having we went back and forth how often should we have them how long should they be i mean we're Originally, they were only set to be 20 minutes with check-ins, and they would go over an hour sometimes just letting everybody <laughs> get their, their truth out, and it was, it was a beautiful thing. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm happy that we were able to um, connect with them and get, get that off the ground. Yeah, for sure. And we didn't, like, really have – we kind of just let it evolve because we didn't really know how we were going to, to like structure. We wanted, we wanted to see how everybody else is going to perceive it too. And really just be that, use it as a, as a tool to connect with people and see how they were experiencing the same thing we were. Um, and, and that was an interesting, you know, play as well to see like, well, we don't, we're not going to like set up and tell you how to spend your hundred days. Like, we're just going to like, like let this all flow naturally and, and use it as a place where we can just support each other. And, and I, and I think that that works great because we, it turned out like, you know, we were able to all support each other and to hear each other and tell each other's truths and listen. And just like, I think the more that you share about yourself, the, and if, if we were as a, as a world and, in a you know as a whole if we were all more aware of what other people were struggling with i think it would just it would bring so much more compassion and to towards other people's emotions so the idea of being able to share through that time is i think a really beautiful way to connect and just understand how other people i think too it also helps people not feel alone because there would be like I would share something or Mary would share something and then there would be five other people in the check-in that would say basically the same thing that they were struggling with the same you know self-talk or anything else and it's 
nice to be around other people that are like, you know, struggling with the things that you're struggling to. And you're like, okay, it's, it's not me. It's, there's other people too that deal with beating themselves up and being too hard on themselves. And so it's nice to be around people that are being honest instead of just, you know, always the highlight reel you see on, on social media and stuff. It's nice to be around that emotion. 1000. Yeah. 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 And we started on June 1st, like right around just the same time that just so it seemed like the world was like people had already been locked inside long enough. And now everybody, you know, it's like a total uproar in the country and people just needed to be reminded. I feel like that, like you're capable, you're, we're all capable of positive change and it starts with like ourselves. Like how can I expect to like, create a positive change within my little world, which is my house, if I'm not willing to make change in my life or encourage other people to do so. So I feel like if it also started June first, like at the perfect time. People needed something to look forward to every day, whether it was just like getting up and moving or whatever their thirty minutes was. Um, I think starting at, at that time really uh, was awesome. I mean, I don't know. Also, I think that the Facebook, that was Keith's idea to um, start the Facebook group. And I know that there was a lot, a lot of people like in the Facebook group that weren't in the check-ins. And then there would be people on the Instagram that weren't in the Facebook or the check-ins. So I think um, we've learned a lot from this round. And hopefully in the future, we'll be able to just kind of streamline it through one, like if we can ever get our website off the ground. <laughs> so like streamline it through there and just have a way for people to just like, everybody knows where to find it and it can be its own community and um yeah i think that, that would that's probably the in the future of one of the big ones i need a good um social media lesson on how to merge multiple accounts because <laughs> i look at it and there's my even with my business account i'm like well oh, there's one too many things there shut it off like, I'm like it confuses <laughs> it's that kind of stuff for some reason i can't it like undoes me. So I'll get in and be like, I can't figure out the password. I can't get into that one. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to post one picture. I'm out. I don't know. <laughs> how to it counts. Like, I can accomplish so many things. I know I'm a bright person and stuff, but that figuring out multiple accounts. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Well, also like, I know I forwarded it to you and was like, here's the password. Let me know if this works. And it works on my end, but it won't work on your end. And then there's nobody at Instagram. So you can like, you can't get a hold of anybody at Instagram. So I think that probably I need to like shut it down and then build it back up with, I don't, I don't understand why it's not letting us. I can, I can help you ladies with that. We just had to do one with my friend for our, our stuff and we both had to like sign in. So I can help you. It's not you super can help all my accounts. That would be lovely. I can definitely yeah. help you. I don't know why that undoes me, but it does. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, there's just like a million logins and like a million passwords in between that and like my kids school like everything on mine I like passwords and logins like I want to throw my computer out the window off. <laughs> I'm like I don't ugh, I'm not putting in one more password like I, that's Ryan's job at our house I'm like no it's asking for passwords I'm out I gotta go to the other <laughs> 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 <Little> thing. <laughs> uh, so what's something that surprised you the most uh during this round uh, I was floored by how vulnerable people were willing to be and how, uh, how honest people were willing to be. Um, that's not easy. And it's not easy to, you know, to do that with strangers. A lot of people were, you know, I may have known, but I know that they're in different parts of the country and they do not know each other. And the support that people um gave to each other and the the just the raw honesty was just like blew my mind on a, a daily basis yeah i'd say same that like the amount of support um from like the you know strangers but you know we might know each other in this circle but just like the ability to talk through things and share like you were saying like just be able to say our honest truths and support each other was and that and that we did have a solid core group that made it all the way through and that is 
that's huge. You know, we're not used to um, having that amount of interaction when we do these uh, and then checking in with each other. So that was just a really cool, um, you know, kind of wonderful experience to, to feel. And especially during the, these times, like, they, you know, we're not living in a normal world right now. And it's just hard on everybody to, so to be there and have the ability to be supported um, was, was really special. Absolutely. Yeah. And to have that positiveness in like your social media feeds and, you know, having the notification pop up and then you read something that somebody's doing and, you know, to have that positive stuff on your phone or your computer instead of just negative opinions that people are posting or news and all this other stuff. It's like actually good stuff you're reading too. Totally. Yeah, definitely. I, I felt like at the beginning, I was like, all right, like, I've done these a couple times. Um, maybe I'm just like one of the facilitators and I'll just encourage everybody else to like go through it. And then at the seconds, I would be crying just as much as else. Like, <laughs> like they were like, it would be like, I would be like, oh, I didn't realize I had so much shit I had to get off my chest today. Like it felt good having a, a, a you know, like Brendan's always willing to listen to me and I have friends for that, but it, it felt like that was the, a, a perfect place to just like pour my heart out like every other week and it it felt really good you know mm -hmm. yeah totally. yeah totally. I felt the same way after our check-ins I would just feel you know like lighter you know a little more relieved and like lit up from everybody's positive energy too it was just and Sue I'll tell you she's amazing I always love everything yeah. she has to say and post and encourage people and she's so amazing so to be surrounded by these amazing women too like we're all building each other up instead of a lot of times with women there's jealousy and drama and things so it's nice to be surrounded by a group of women that are all just rooting so hard for each other which is awesome too totally. there's no space in the day to 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 um to waste any time being jealous or you know, the more you can accomplish by cheering people, like, like see how much you can get done by like encouraging everybody, like watching Annie, that was so encouraging for her encouraging you to start, start like to even start this has changed. Like it's created such a ripple of amazing things. And when you can support people, it's, um, I, I don't know, there's nothing, it's, there's no better feeling than to, to, to be, than to be supported and to feel like you are empowered to support people. Yeah. Absolutely. So we all have daughters. So what do you think doing something like this uh, models for our daughters as they grow up? You know, I mean, obviously our sons, it's a good example for, for mine and Annie's sons, but, you know, having a daughter is different, you know, having teaching a girl to grow up in the world, especially now there's different challenges and, and things that we deal with. So what do you think doing something like this does for for raising a girl oh, that's a good question i um there's it, personally if, if y'all watch the um new documentary the social about social media and its effects on um watching that was so eye-opening and I, i'm honestly a little afraid of what we are putting in front of kids faces especially little girls like and what that is going to do to their mind. I've noticed even my daughter like look at her belly and say, I have a belly, I, you know, look down and try to suck in. She's seven, she just turned seven. And, or like the things that they see that we're just spoon feeding all day, this ideal of, of, of what, you know, of, of, I don't even know, of a different kind of image of how women are, different than what we saw growing up. And I hope that doing a, a challenge like this and watching our and having our daughters watch us support other women and and keeping it real shows them a better version of of how you know how they can learn to support other women and they can learn to support themselves when they are having a rough time. That there are tools that you can that you can seek after to help you be reach a better place in your own mental space so I mean that's the biggest hope and desire I could get from 
from this, but you know, it's, there's just a lot out there. So it's hard to filter everything that they see. Yeah. Yeah. It's, definitely. it's, it's it definitely with, us. with technology and the television. It's so hard now. Definitely. My daughter um, was doing push-ups in the bathtub today, and I was like, <laughs> my girl, like, you got it, Nola. Are you strong? She's like, yeah, mom. I was like, that's all, that's all I'll ever, like, I, you know, we go down the list. Are you smart? Are you kind? Are you beautiful? Are you strong? Like, that's the one I want to, like, drive home every time. It's like, it doesn't matter, like, you are, you be you. Don't worry about what everybody else looks like or thinks of you like you know your worth you know your strength like that's what I'll always encourage because I, I I wasn't I wasn't raised in a house where you know I was expected to look a certain way or be a certain way that came from the outside world right I think that happens for most women um mm -hmm. and and it fucked with me it fucked with me big time like a lot of weird shit happened when I was growing up that just made me feel like if I didn't the only happiness I was ever going to feel was if I was like rail thin and that never brought me true happiness right it never did so just feeling strong made me feel empowered and um, a lot better about myself gave me a lot more confidence and so I'll always encourage NOLA um, and most young girls like I have a couple girls that are younger that join me for my sessions, um, a couple of friends that have asked me to record things for their daughters because they want to like, they need some movement in their day. And I'm, I am happy to do that. Like, I just want young women to feel strong, regardless of what the numbers on the scale say. Like, yeah. I, and I think through this challenge, hopefully, I know a lot of the people that joined us on this challenge have daughters, and hopefully that's something that they can take and, like, have a, just a ripple effect on women in particular and, like, their daughters or the younger generation. Um, and that's not to say that I don't want men to feel good about themselves. I always will want all people to have positive change in their life, but I think we just put too much fucking pressure on ourselves to look and feel a certain way, and it's bullshit. It's never going to make uh, like a lasting positive change. It's never going to make us happy. So, um, yeah, I'll always encourage strength over skinniness. So. Yeah. That's what's important is to remember how strong we really are. That's, that's truly the lasting thing because your body's going to age, you know, you will age and your body's going to change and, but the mental stuff is, is what really matters. So what are some things that you guys do? We talked about movement so what are some things maybe some books or movies or things that you've listened to or read that help you with the the mental aspect of positive change sure um i am a big fan of gabby bernstein and i know that um I, you know i changing my your perspective to to think through like why you feel the way you feel sometimes and to just dissect it on a daily basis and looking, trying to change your brain to it. Um, you know, instead of going into something where you're like, oh, God, I wish like this didn't go the way I wanted it to, or this is going down. Like it, that reading her books have really helped me shift my perspective to, a, you know, but I'm really grateful that I'm here because I'm going to learn this from this and I'm going to do, and it's easy, it might sound like that's a simple shift, but it's not always a simple, it's, you know, that's not always um, obvious. Um, so the shifting to a gratitude mindset has been, um, it's been awesome. And, and, and I love Glennon Doyle too, because she helps, you know, just reinforce that like, it's just be, be, be you. <laughs> just like stay, Stay being you and all your weird shit. Just stay that. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. Um, I, 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 <laughs> um, I, when I was doing the 100 days for, uh, of yoga, the first time I read um, Brene Brown, Staring Greatly, and that, that really helped me just allow myself to 
um, be vulnerable. And that's when I started posting more things that were very personal to me. And Brendan would be like, you don't need to tell the world these things. I was like, I hope nobody's reading them, but it gets, it helps me get Like, I truly hold less shame of my body and the choices that I've made in my life, the things that I've done to myself. Like, I've done horrible things to my body in order to, to like, pursue this, like, ideal body, and it's, it's bullshit. So the, the fact that, like, I was, you know, approaching 40 at the time, and I could feel strong and turn my life around and start to feel, like, good about myself was, it was, it, it, that definitely helped me, like, that, that um, Hearing great people really helps me. And then um, per perfectly imperfect always helps too. That's always like a good read when I'm like, all right. And I post things and I don't like, my intention isn't to be like, oh, look how cute I look in this outfit or look how strong I look. Like if people think that that's the intention behind the picture, it's really just like the screenshot I happened to get while I was working out that like doesn't make me look like a total asshole. But I just want like to do like, people realize that like I'm 40 now like I have three kids I make time for myself so that I feel good and I think that that's I that's what I'll always encourage for people so um those those two books were probably like the biggest help in trying to guide me in the direction I'm, I'm in that's awesome I've I love Gabby Bernstein too but I've never I haven't read any of Brene Brown's books yet so definitely gonna check both of those out. I'm all about the yeah. personal development book. So definitely check those out. Yeah. Daring greatly. Start with that one. It's like, I, I, for me, it was, it was it allowed me to just like be vulnerable and feel okay putting myself out there mm. and that nice? allowing that, that to help change me, you know, because mm -hmm. keeping shoving all the things down, all the feelings down and like shame, 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 just like shoving it down was not helping me. It wasn't doing anything for my mental state. It wasn't doing anything for my friendships, my relationships, with my family. Like, it just wasn't. And so allowing myself to just, here's what I'm dealing with, made me finally be able to feel like I could breathe. And that was a really great feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it helps you find community more when you're vulnerable like that. Like, it draws people to you that are good people. You know, it draws a community to you because pe good people, you know, there's always internet trolls, but good people are drawn to the realness again. And like, that's why I think the check-ins were such a success because we were all drawn to having that realness and that vulnerability and that truth. And that's, especially now, that's all we really want is community and truth, I think. So totally. it just yeah. helps build better bonds and also to like transcend the, you know, it, it, it helps you like feel that empowerment too, to support each other. Like the more you know about somebody, the more you like are able to support them and the places that you, that you can see them struggling because you love them and you're there for them. But, and now you're aware of what they're struggling with, but where before maybe you wouldn't have been aware and didn't know to support your friend in the ways that they needed to be supported. But, you know, I think that honesty is, is, is a huge component to, to just building general, um, just to, you know, to build a general support system with the people that you love. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it inspires and people also, to be honest too. Yeah. Yeah. And that you also learn how many people are dealing with the same shit that you're dealing with. And you're like, oh, like we're all dealing, we're all in this together. Like this is not right. Totally. So. Everybody's got shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody's got dealing with something. And it's, you know, as long as when we're open about it, you, the, uh, you know, your empathy and sympathy for others is able to, to really shine through and to understand exactly what they're going through um, or the best way you can. You can't understand exactly what they're going through, but at least you can figure out ways to be there um, and support them. And it helps people to feel again, that connection, you know, to actually be like, okay, maybe we're different because we look different or we live somewhere different or our families are different, but inside we're still all the same, you know, it doesn't matter if we're, 
whatever we're we're actually all we're human inside so it's to find that connection and similarity with other people one thousand percent yeah so annie talk about the classes that you are still doing on lively what days of the week do you do your classes um i am on i did sundays i do a uh, sunday it's called sunday slow burn it's yoga with muscle action drills um all central time and and then Monday and Friday, I'm doing 30 minutes of uh, self expresses. And those are 30 minutes at noon. And then Monday at 5 p.m., there's a 50 minute sculpt, yoga sculpt. And Tuesday and Thursday, I recently moved the class to 6.30 a.m. Um, Chicago time. And not knowing what to expect if people were gonna get up for that or Still join me but it's been it people turns out people do want to get up and just start working out right away so those have been really exciting um for the month of september i've been doing a series of things so this past week was all uh legs and i think next week is all shoulders and core so just try to keep it interesting <laughs> yay I don't know. What's what's been your favorite thing of doing that? What's been your favorite part? Uh, the connections that I've been able to make with um, not not only the connections I've been able to make, but the connections that, that I see friends that I know again are like in different parts of the country and they're working at the same time and they give you know they can see each other and say hi. Um, it's been really um, inspiring to see people's strength. So a lot of a couple of people that have that started and maybe never took a yoga scope class, not knowing what to expect, that couldn't hold plank for 20 seconds. They're now holding it for, you know, two and a half, three minutes, and they feel fucking strong. And I'm like, hell yeah, hell yes, like, you are strong. And it's fun to um, be their cheerleader, but it's fun to watch them have the conversation with themselves that they are capable of doing hard things. So that has been really exciting. And it also gets me a chance to um you know get away from my kids for a few minutes <laughs> we're all together all day every day so um yeah thanks for asking i really enjoy the classes i awesome. when when the core power closed and i couldn't go and teach people in person i you know i took it to instagram right away just to keep teaching anybody not again not knowing if anybody would show up and then when my lesson masters approached me about doing class, I was like, absolutely, I wouldn't know. Like, I really just want to help people feel strong and good about themselves. So I can't just talk the talk. Like, I, if I can be there to guide them through a workout so that I know that they feel good about it afterwards, it means all the world. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, Mary, you're not doing the classes anymore, but I would love for you to talk about your new hobby you took up during the challenge, surfing. And then, of course, I would love for you to talk about your design business as well, please. Sure. Um, yeah, I wish I could continue doing the classes, but unfortunately, um, it just doesn't fit in the day right now. My only times would be like 5 a.m. Eastern time or like 8 p.m. Eastern time, and that's probably not <laughs> not going to work for a lot of people, I don't think. <laughs> Um, and I'm just, I have a lot uh, of stuff that I'm trying to work through and I'm working a lot of hours right now. So I needed to make sure I, um, clear the mental space for that. Um, so I, and I honestly, I need to take classes more for myself right now, um, than I can to teach them because I'm working so hard. I need to like, when I work out, I want to like follow somebody, you know? <laughs> I'm like, no, I want somebody else to tell me what to do right now. Yeah. Um, I'm done making decisions today. Um, <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I did take up surfing during this, during COVID and during the summer. And that has been incredible. I mean, learning a new sport as an adult is, um, is humbling to say the least. <laughs> because It's hard. Like, you know, the, I, you don't just get learn. you don't just surf like I still am definitely a beginner and I've spent the whole summer trying to figure this out so um, it's humbling but it's fun and there's been a group of women I've been going with and 
we get out there and we're all learning together and we're supporting each other. Same idea. Like, you know, we're all falling and we're laughing. And that is like that kind of support when one person does get up and you're like, yes, finally, like it feels so good, but like, we're not judging each other. We're just out there trying something new at the same time. And it's, that's awesome. That, that is like priceless to me to pick up a, a new sport at 38 years old while supporting other women is like, feels really great. Um, and yeah, that a lot, but I haven't been able to surf. I went once last weekend. It's been kind of rough here. I thought we were going to have better surf with the storms coming in, but, um, I keep missing it because I'm, I'm, I'm working my tail off right now. Um, and it's, and it's great. I'm really grateful. I've had a new opportunity come to my plate and I just have had a lot of fun, but it's just, it's learning a lot of new things too. And, um, and I, like I said, I need the movement to help me remind myself that I'm strong enough and I'm capable enough to take on these new challenges. Um, and, and remind me that I, you know, every day I just have to wake up and try hard, as hard as I can again. And that's what I'm doing. That's all we can do every day. Yeah. Just show up the best, the best way that we can. Totally. Yeah. All right, so I saw that uh, Annie just posted that you guys were doing the 30 for 30 starting tomorrow, Monday, the 21st. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, we just, <laughs> we both are like very driven by, you know, challenges and, you know, we're not willing to start another 100 days. I don't know when, we haven't decided when that next round will be, but just, an opportunity to move your body for 30 minutes for 30 days, you know, and maybe, maybe that's what people need to, to, if they can do that, they'll think, hmm, maybe I can do the 100 days. You know, anybody that thought like 100 days seems like insane to me, I would never do that. Like maybe you start with 30 days and see how that goes. Um, but this is definitely more focused on movement and also making a positive change in your life. But, um, but 30 days, 30 minutes moving your body whether that's you know you have to on your back porch spend the night or yoga or walking surfing you know your hit classes and all the, the things that you've been doing Sarah like anything to move I feel like people that just don't do that don't get that like that rush that people that move to get so just encouraging people to again feel really good about themselves and better in their skin so. yeah totally. yeah awesome well i'm in so i'm excited that we're doing something again <laughs> i knew you would be i know and i texted Mel, so i was like Mel, um we are gonna do a 30 days she was like yep definitely i was like okay i knew you'd be in uh what are we gonna call it she's like move 30 for 30 i was like yep that's what we're gonna call it so let's start tomorrow she's like yep let's start tomorrow it's like, awesome awesome <laughs> Never have to ask you guys. So I'm like, do not twist my arm. I'm in. Sign me up. Going. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I was excited to see that. I was like, yay! I could do a 30 day. <laughs> yeah, it'll seem like nothing to anybody that's done 100 days. So for sure, for sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, this actually, was. Go ahead. <laughs> like, well, not intense, but like, I want it to be. It's mine is going to be 30 consecutive days of movement. Like, that's it. Yeah. It's, it's nice to, to have that challenge because even though the hundred day is over, like there's still all so many things that we're dealing with and having the challenge was such a good motivator personally to be like, you know, I still need to be mindful about my movement and how I'm showing up. And it was like a nice little reminder in the back of your head to, to keep doing it. So I'm glad you're doing something as we keep going through being stuck in the house <laughs> we're still doing yeah. this <laughs> exactly well yeah we we haven't decided when the next hundred days will start and 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 what um you know what that what that format format's gonna look like but Sarah well, thank you so much for being such a supporter of the hundred days you've done it a couple a couple rounds and you've always been so supportive um not only to the hundred days to positive change but to Mel and I um but I mean I'd be an asshole if I didn't say that as an Umphreys fan, your support for um, 
Brendan and, and, and Tony and Humphreys in general is like, is mind blowing. And that also just is, is brings me to tears, like the, the love that you have for their music and their fans and the, the, the joy that you just want to share with everybody is, is incredible. And um, as an Humphreys fan, um, I really I think that you're the rock star. Thank you. Thank you for saying you're going to make me cry. <laughs> and he said 1000%. Well, thank you. I feel that it's the least that I can and can do um, as far as spreading the love to to everyone in, in the band and the crew and the, the family and all the fans. It's it's the least that I can do for the love that, that I've gotten over the years and, um, you know, the way that, that the music has personally changed my life and, and helped me get through things and the family that I have because of them, the people that I have in my life that I, you know, I had a really crappy family growing up. So to have these people now that are so supportive and, you know, like having you guys that cheer me on and, and are just like generally super stoked <laughs> when I accomplish things, like I didn't have that. So it's to know there's people out there is pretty cool. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's, it's amazing to, to have that and to also be surrounded by women that enjoy working out and working on themselves, but also enjoy going to a rock show and having a good time. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to find both. <laughs> um, so it's cool to, to have people that are like, yeah, let's go rage a show, but yeah, let's hit the gym tomorrow. That would be fun too. <laughs> like, so it's, yeah. it's neat to, to have that. And I'm grateful to have met both of you and gotten to know you better through the challenge. And I mean, you're just amazing women. And I'm so grateful to have both of you in my life and have you both as influences and badass moms too. Like that's awesome too, to, to have badass moms around. So. Dude, thank you. You are, you're a badass. I see all yeah, this stuff you accomplish in a day and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Where did she get all the energy? <laughs> it's amazing. You I wonder are that sometimes too. <laughs> woman. And I, I, I love, I've loved getting to know you and I'm, I'm really grateful for, for everything that you do and just in, in our relationship now. So thank you, you girl. Thank you. You guys are just so amazing too. And, and how you've all inspired everyone in our group and just, Amazing rays of light. Yeah. You guys are the sweetest. I feel like that's often, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the 100 day celebration was the best. best. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm going to tell my kids too. Be like, listen, gonna, people say you know, nice you know things about me. Told me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what someone just called me? <laughs> you appreciate me. That's, that's how it is with my kids too. Cause my daughter's nine. So she always rolls her eyes at me and I'm like, you know what? I do have friends and they like me. So stop it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People do think yeah. I'm nice. So great. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <Yeah. laughs> I love it. <laughs> friends and they like me Daniel. they like me so <laughs> shut up <laughs> nine-year-old <laughs> she rolls her eyes so hard at me I'm like damn girl <laughs> does the same and strong arms me like mm -mm. and it they can tear you down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rip your heart out you're like damn girl you need to back up a little bit <laughs> like, <laughs> I who taught you to be that feisty Dang. And then my husband will just look at me and I'm like, that did not come from me. He's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this was awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out on a Sunday with me. This was wonderful. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yes, Thank of you. course.